Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with our favorite homebody, Selena. Getting up relatively early on another uh, lovely day. Unfortunately, no rain, but also no fog. There's the spooky missing uh, wall there, as per usual, startling me. First thing in the morning. So last episode we did uh, we accomplished some things. Got some carpentry done, got started on our farm. Uh, that is a little too ambitious for the amount of water that we have. So, our biggest concern right now, other than, you know, the exercise fatigue that's still there from the previous day, is that uh, we need to get some more water collectors going because we're kind of low on water now because of my own folly. So, I think we're going to get right into that. Um, we're going to go up here where our generator is, and we're going to expand this a little bit because we need some more stuff. So, first things first, I want to look at the generator. 85 fuel, 92 condition, so we're still pretty good on that. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab all these garbage bags and some planks. And I'm going to... Well, I'm going to extend the walkway here a little bit so that we can... Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Chill out. Uh, she's yelling because she's in pain. It's not actually that much of a heavy load. I'm trying to think about how I want to do this with the, um... The water collectors and downstairs. This is one of the interesting things with the um, the water collector system. So, like, if you if you have a water collector set up, I, I I should have explained this before, but if you have a water collector set up, you can see if you go to drink from it, it's like you know tainted water, unsafe for drinking, sterilize it by boiling in an oven or over a fire. But if you pipe the water from a water collector into a faucet, it doesn't retain that tainted quality. It just becomes pure water, which is why we've been drinking that for a while now. Like, we've been just using the water from there. I think it's because the, the game considers them separate things, even when they're piped together. Like, I think that the way that they have this coded, and who knows if this is going to stay this way in the long term or not, um, but I think the way they have it coded is that Water in faucet or in toilet is safe. Safe water. So even if the water comes from a water collector and then is piped down into a faucet, it's still considered safe water because it's coming from the faucet, I think is the way that it's, it's happening there. So, yeah. Definitely pipe your water from water collectors. That way you don't have to worry about, like, you know, boiling it before you drink it. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to make these other water collectors outside because we really don't need more pipe water connector collectors. And again, this base is like really safe for what it is. So I'm going to instead um, I'm going to make it out here. If I could uh, what do, Oh, I need actually I need a fourth garbage bag and a plank. Didn't I get garbage bags? What happened to those? Were these, these three were definitely not the only garbage bags I found, were they? All right, hold on. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some morning searching of all of our vehicles because I feel like I got more garbage bags than this, and then they're just sort of not here, and that's kind of concerning. I swear that I found more garbage bags than that. I don't think they would be in the cars, but like, I mean, it's worth checking. There also could just be garbage bags in here because, you know, it's a whole ass, like, you know, house back here, but. Uh, I don't know why I'm checking the fridge. There's also water in this as well. Um. I plumb it with? What's the what's the reasoning there? How these would receive running water, I have no idea, by the way. It's kind of weird to have, like, a normal full toilet and a sink in here. I mean, I guess you could just, like, hook the sink up to, like, a, you know, a gallon jug of water, right? But it's still a bit weird to have in a camper like that. Now that I look at it, too, there's a propane tank on that grill back there. That's nice to have. I didn't even realize we had that. Okay, so we need more garbage bags. Um, I already tore this place up. I don't think there's any trash cans or anything in there. 
Um, mostly trash cans are, like, on the street. So, I'm not really sure there's gonna be any more garbage bags in this neighborhood that I haven't already, like, stolen. But, I guess we can, we can take a look. If anything, the houses, um, like, down that way would probably be a better bet, because I know they have garbage cans outside. But this is a good opportunity to take a look at the, uh, the neighborhood. You know, do a little, a little mi minor sweep, make sure... Uh, make sure we don't have any uninvited, uh, trespassers on our property here. Even though we don't live out in these, uh, outer homes, I still consider it our property. Might as well try and keep it relatively clear. And yeah, look at these guys loitering. How dare you? We're good, right? Yeah, thought so. Just do a quick little 360 sweep, make sure that nothing is coming up behind us. And, you know, worth bearing in mind that we aren't completely on top of our game right now because we don't have our full armor on. We're missing our uh, firefighter outfit. But, you know, the... The armor in Project Zomboid is really more of a suggestion than, uh, than, like, you know, something that you should rely on. Um, you know, I'm never one to shy away from actually using armor in Zomboid. There is, like, a school of thought that, uh, like, my friend applies to his play, where, where he keeps his character as light as possible so that he can just run around as much as possible and be, like, quick and, like, e make it easier to just dodge zombies and stuff like that. And that's definitely, like, you know, a mode of play. But, uh... I'm more of the opinion that having armor is nice. That, you know... I'd rather have it and not need it than, uh... Need it and not have it. Sort of, sort of deal. So, it's nice to have as, like, a, you know... Oh, I, you know, a zombie bit me. Oh, thank, thank fuck my armor saved me. Sort of, sort of deal. Rather than, uh... Oh, a zombie bit me and I'm not wearing anything. I guess I'm just dead, sort of thing. This is kind of stupid because I haven't cleared this uh, area right here. So I don't know if there's any zombies here, but... I want to, uh... I want to keep this on a decent angle. Oh, that was bad. That went from, oh, this is bad, to, oh, this is good, very quickly. That, uh, that triple pushdown was, uh, very nice. Okay, just do a little bit more clearing. There's a garbage bag here. There might be a trash can in the store, too. I'm not sure about that one, though. Grab a couple things real quick, and then we'll head back home. This isn't any kind of, like, long-term exploration. Is that you got a pistol? I don't know, one of these Magnum Research Desert Eagles. Not big on the expandable batons. They're kind of crap. This door got broken down at some point. It's a doorknob there I'm going to take. Clear. I'm kind of wondering what the, um, I brought this up, uh, a couple episodes ago as well. I remember earlier, like, quite a while back at this point, we, uh, we had gotten a notification that we'd met the requirements for losing Cowardly, um, and yet we still haven't. So I'm wondering if the dynamic requirement for, um, for losing Cowardly is like a like a, a long-term requirement like you have to keep meeting the requirement like it's it might have to do with like facing a certain level of panic for a certain amount of time and then like maintaining that i'm not sure kind of don't want to look it up either i like um i like the the kind of like figure it out sort of uh feeling that you get with um with dynamic 
perks, dynamic traits. Um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of chill to just uh, you know keep it that way. Just keep trying to you know figure out what's going on with that and make up my own mind. So th this is one of the the weird things in the game: <laughs> rotten melted ice cream. It's not really. I mean, I guess it could rot over time, you know, it could get bacteria and stuff on it, but melted ice cream being, like, a saddening thing, which it is in Zomboid, is always, like, very weird. It's like, what do you mean? Melted ice cream tastes awesome. Like, it's kind of weird that it gives you, like, a ton of boredom and unhappiness, but, you know, it is what it is. I think it's just because of the way that they've coded, um, uh, like, you know, rotten foods to just generally be bad, and your character doesn't like eating them. Kind of makes sense that it's just sort of like a all-in-one thing. This is going to be um, a, a good source for us. Uh, later on, we'll take the, um, the trolley out here, especially once the crops start coming in, and we'll take this, uh, probably all three of these, but mostly this these ice coolers are really nice because they have two slots that are 30 each so one of these can hold 60 and it only uses like you know i think the normal fridge amount of power so those ice coolers are extremely useful for holding uh food in long-term storage especially you know once you're doing uh a lot of farming and you've got like you know hundreds of cabbages to try and keep uh try and keep for a long period of time it's really nice to have one of those lying around To store it in. Honestly, they're just better than like any other type of fridge, I think, in um in Zomboid when it comes to just storing stuff. Highly recommend if you can find one of those to, to definitely use it. Just wanted to check out back here. Not necessarily with zombies, but sometimes they have like dumpsters out back. These guys don't though, it's just a small little grocery store. A burn building over there, I didn't realize. Alright, so what do we got? We have six garbage bags here, one garbage bag here, seven. We need four each. We need one more. So let's keep going a little bit further afield and see if there's any more garbage bags over here. I'm just going to get enough for two. Um, two water collectors, and then that'll be uh, oh, target spotted. That'll be good enough for the time being. We've, then we'll have three total. One of them is going to be for our like personal water use, piped into the um, into the house, and then the other two can be the um, you know painted water. Who gives a shit? Use it on the crops, sort of deal. I think two is probably fine as long as it rains sometime soon, right? And you never know. I mean, that's why it's uh, it's better to do this sort of stuff ahead of time. You know, I, I obviously doing this sudden like sudden of uh, oh hello. Like, oh, hmm, I kind of just used all our water, and now we're kind of in a, a, a weird situation. It's pretty bad. Um, don't do this, you know. Try and... Don't, you know, don't obsess about everything, like, way ahead of time or anything like that. That's also not very good, and it can be detrimental to your, uh, well, your play, your play of the game, because it can get you into bad situations, and also detrimental, potentially, to your enjoyment of the game. So definitely don't recommend obsessing over everything, if you can. Um... However, it is better to think about setting this sort of stuff up before it becomes a problem, rather than, uh, well, in my situation, making it a problem myself through my own actions, and then uh, having to suddenly deal with it. But it's fine. Didn't take us too much time. It's 1 p.m. We still got time to build these things and maybe get a little bit more done around the, the base. It's not too much more that we really need to do around the base, really. It's just get the water collector set up so that we can actually uh, maintain crops over a long period of time. And then once we're once we're done with that, I think we're pretty much good to go on like base stuff. And then we can start thinking about our next uh, our next goals, um, which I've got I've put some thought into. I'm thinking our next goal is to be to hit a gun store. 
I'm not exactly certain which one I'm going to choose yet. I've got a couple in mind that I've hit before that I kind of know what I'm doing at. Because we are kind of not doing good on the gun front. Um, we have enough shotgun shells, I think, to use a shot the shotgun to get more ammunition. And then we just hope that we find enough ammunition for stuff that we have that will be alright. Because... Uh, if we end up using the, the current ammunition that we have on, you know, tasks that aren't getting us more ammunition, then we're risking running into a situation that really blocks off a lot of the game to us. At least with my level of, like, melee combat skill. I'm thinking that uh, a lot of things, a lot of uh, doors close to us if I don't uh, acquire some more ammunition soonish. So, that's something to worry about. Um, I need more planks. I should have gotten the trolley out. That would have helped make this a little easier, but I didn't, so oh well. Uh, we'll just have to do this one at a time because we're not going to be able to carry more planks. Yeah, arg my back. Alright, so, um, I'm kind of, kind of lose my mind again here, um, furniture, there we go, rain collector barrel. So, yeah, for the time being, let's just do this, we're just gonna put them here at the head of the, uh, the crops, and then I'll get enough for a third one the next time we go out, and we'll have, uh, a nice three set of water collectors here, I think that should be plenty. It might not be, it might be, who knows. You know, this isn't a, uh, all this, uh, you know, a rule of Zomboid that this is, this is, you know, the equivalent. I don't actually know the math when it comes to, like, rain probability and how much each water collector can hold compared to how much water crops need and, like, the, the variables of, you know, the fact that the rain actually waters the crops for you, so, like, how long does that add to the interval between actually needing to water? Honestly, no idea. I'm not a math major. I don't, uh, I'm not very good at math. You know, I, uh, I make do with what I can, and, uh, to me, this feels kind of right. This feels like a decent idea, so, you know, I'll roll with it. Now, as far as the crops are concerned, um... taking a look at the uh, the health of them. Yeah, so the, the ones with water are verdant. Anything without water right now is just healthy, which is still fine. They'll still... They're not gonna die. Um, but they'll probably start withering soon if they don't get any water. So basically, I'm just sort of hoping that it rains. Or that, you know, like, morning dew will, uh... Will give us a little bit of water to work with so that I can at least give each plant a taste of water, right? Just something. So that's done. Um, what do we got? It is 3 p.m. almost. What else do we need to do around the base? So we can't do what I want to do with the parapet idea until we get to, uh, what was it? Six carpentry, I think, right? For the uh, stairs. Yeah, so we need. A little more... Yeah, no, uh, quite a bit more, actually. It's just like two-thirds furniture assembler. Qualified... Oh. Neat. We finally got a furniture assembler from uh, building those rain collector barrels. That just happened in real time there. So now it's just plus one carpentry. So that actually saves us a little bit of effort. I was going to say that we need, like, a level and two-thirds of a level to to get there. Oh, what does that actually appear retroactively? Maybe I need to like restart the game or sleep for it to appear because we were already at four and a bit. Um. So that, right, weren't we? Yeah, because we were, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think that that's just not taking into effect right now. It might take into effect tomorrow. So I think what'll happen is we'll be up to five and a bit. I think that's the way that works. Either way, we'll see. Neat, though. Alright, so. 
what else are we going to do around the base? Um, did I get enough? I know I picked up some doorknobs and hinges. Yeah, okay. So let's do the other door upgrade down here. The door frame upgrade. Um, because we got enough to uh, actually do that. First things first, let's do our diligence. All clear. So let's disassemble the door. Uh, pardon me? What is it, because of the corpse? Uh, well. It's only appropriate, I guess. This is really gross. These desiccated corpses are really gross, so it's better to get them the hell out of the walls. Plus, uh, apparently, uh, zombie reanimation is apparently like a default setting. <sighs> Somebody said in one of the comments in the past videos, what the fuck is going on with this door? Disassemble the fucking door. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. I guess I have to be on the south side of it. Um... Apparently, zombie reanimation from, like, actual dead zombies is, like, a one, like, a, a low chance, but, like, a default setting. I'm not certain that it's it's on by default, or maybe, like, my game settings have set it so that it's off by default, but I almost never see that, so it's kind of... I'm hoping it's not default. Actually, I got everything back from that, too, other than the planks. That's nuts. How rare is that? Uh, so, I need to... Um, I need to upgrade the fucking thing first. What do I need for that? One plank, I think? Yeah. So yeah, apparently that's something you have to worry about in the game, is like a default thing. I mean, I knew that it could happen, but I think, I thought that the setting was off by default, that uh, zombies, like, that you kill can just sometimes reanimate. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, have fun worrying about that now, now that now, new players. <laughs> Yippee. Oh, it's because I was standing on the pile as why well. it was, um, I can't. Alright, how, how many was it? Four. Ah! Sorry about that. It's hard to, to reconcile in my brain uh, what games can... Uh, I can dismiss menus with escape and which games I can't. I play a lot of different game, survival games all the time, so it's like... Sometimes certain things work, and sometimes they don't, depending on which game it is, so... Hard to keep it straight in my head. Alright. There we go. We've got ourselves fully upgraded Tier 2 walls on all of the, uh... The sides here, and necessarily the door frame upgrade doesn't really matter, because zombies will break through the door and then go through. They won't break the frame, I think, generally, but, eh, whatever. You know, it's done. And it's carpentry XP, so. Okay, um, I guess the next thing we're going to do is we're going to expand the rooftop terrace. Not too much, because there's not a whole lot that we really need to put out there, really. It's mostly just I want to shore this side up a little bit, because I don't want to fall. Like, we fell that last time before, and, like, falling from up here isn't that big of a deal as long as I don't have a lot of stuff on me, but say, like, I'm carrying a bunch of shit, and I'll, like, come up here to, like, drop some stuff off out here, maybe, or something like that, or I can go look at the generator. Um, falling from this height with a bunch of shit on me could easily break my legs, and then... Breaking your legs in Zomboid doesn't really matter that much if you're, you know... If you've got a secure base to be at, which, you know, breaking my legs here would obviously be, like, relatively, like, fine. But it would be mega boring, and I would have to skip, like, multiple weeks worth of this playthrough of just, like, nothing. Of me just, like, sitting around eating and reading books. And, like, having her Selena watch videos and stuff. Like, there's nothing to do when you're waiting for a broken leg to heal. Trust me, I've gone through it. In, uh... In multiplayer, I have many times broken legs 
uh, on different things. And uh, one time I decided to run the super immune trait, which makes you immune to zombification, but you just get, like, giga sick and, like, nearly die during the whole ordeal. Um, not fun. Because for literally weeks of the playthrough, I was just sitting inside eating every single time my character was hungry, and that's all I did. So, uh, yeah. That's a thing that can happen. It's not great, not a great thing either. How much water is in here? Not much. I have to fill up our canteen, though. Okay, so we picked up some food, right? So let's uh, sort that all out. We got some more uh, stuff for making soups. We got bouillon. We got some yeast. So we can uh, try and make some bread at some point, maybe. We'll see about that. Nothing like a bit of uh, homemade bread. Tell you what, I'm gonna be making some homemade bread in real life soon, I think. Not yet. Get my kitchen redone right now, but eventually I'm thinking about it. I do like some uh, some fresh bread. Uh, what am I doing over here? Why did I come over here? Eh, whatever, some more hot sauce. Okay. Um, I can put this desert eagle down because we uh, definitely don't need that. So let's take a little quick inventory of what we've got. This, uh, this ammo canister is empty. There's nothing in here. Um... You can see it's right here. This is where all our shotgun shells were before. We've got a little bit of 22 LR, which is crap. We've got a box of 9 mil, which is also not really worth using against zombies. And it's only one box of ammo anyway. Um, we've got some shotgun shells hiding out in the uh, CA, wep the, what is it, close assault weapon systems, the, the shotguns. Um, they've got some ammo in them. Um, the Desert Eagles have 44 mag in them, 44 magnum. Okay, 870's got some shotgun shells. This one doesn't. This is... What the hell even... Oh, it's 38. It's in 38 special. I mean, it doesn't have any ammo anyway. Um, Ruger Mark IV. That's 22. Yeah, 22. So crap. Probably just take it apart for gun parts eventually. Uh, of 9's got no ammo. The Varmint Rifle has four shots. Weatherby Varmint Rifle is what, 223? Two, two, we got like nothing for that. So as far as the stuff on the floor goes, we've got um, fuck all, basically. We do have a slightly loaded Taurus M9 in here. Some extra 9mm, a little bit of 5.56, a 5.7 magazine with no gun to actually use it with. A P90 magazine as well, which again, we don't have P90. Um, so we've got a little bit as far as 9mm, but again, like... Who cares? Yeah, there's another box here, but... Trusting 9 mil against zombies is not really worthwhile. I mean, it's it's something, right? It's more than nothing, but, like, when you look at it, our ammo situation is, like, pretty bad. Because that's, like, all we have, really, is this. Um, Ignoring these random 45 ACP rounds that I've got here. We've got 93 shotgun shells, plus, give or take, 20 shells in all of the guns... Because, like, this, the SPAS-12 is loaded with six shells right now, and the CAWS shotguns and one of the um, M80s is, like, uh, the, like, you know, some of the shotguns are loaded, right? That's all we've got. Like, we're, we're not doing well on ammo. We definitely need to, uh, to work on that. That's definitely a situation that is brewing. So I think that's go- I found the garbage bags. Uh, um, and what was it? Four garbage bags to make the, the thing? So I can't even make the third one even though I found them? Yep. Genius. Okay, so this is where I put them. I knew I, I knew I had found some garbage bags before. I had put them in here when I came and dumped my stuff off to do different tasks. Oh well, is what it is. Let's get Selena some food and then we're going to send her to bed. We'll just do the typical canned bread, I think, because we don't really have the water to do anything else right now. And canned bread's pretty decent. Really, I'd rather give her, like, canned fruit or something like that. Um, oh, canned bread. I didn't mean to do canned bread. I meant to do canned potatoes. Oh, well, whatever. The thing is, because canned bread is just literally bread when you uncan it, which means you can use to make sandwiches and stuff, but it's also a lot of calories, so it's fine. Sort of. You know, it was a mistake, but it's an honest one. 
Nothing we can do about it now. Uh, okay. So, uh, one thing I should do is I should clean, um, I should clean the spas. Um, I need the gun cleaning kit as well, which, uh, we have three of them right here, so let's take one of those. Because, uh, it's a little bit damaged. You can see its condition's a little bit lower, and, uh... Mm. I mean, I'd rather use WD-40, I think. Because, like, WD-40 is more common. We only got three of these repair kits. Yeah, it's not a guarantee of, uh... Of repairing it, but, you know. I'd rather use a WD-40 on it. It doesn't do anything else in this, uh... In this game. You know, there's no, uh... There's no, you know, hinges or whatever that I need to spray with WD-40 to get them to work. I don't need to spray, like, you know, window hinges and stuff to, to, to get them to work, like, in real life. Alright, we're good now. Fully repaired. Let's uh, put the gun cleaning kit back because I didn't end up using it. Um, and the WD-40 as well. Cool. Alright, so now we have a little bit less to worry about when it comes to the uh, shotgun jamming up on us. That's good. Uh, real quick, I think I'm going to um, turn off the generator and do a little bit of work on it. Um... Uh, these are overlapping and it's confusing me. Uh, 90% condition. So let's grab some scrap electronics and do a little bit of repair work on that real quick. Nothing very much, but just like, you know. I've got the, I've got the time right now, so I might as well get it done. Good to keep this thing in good repair. Fix generator. Because you never know when I might be, uh... You know, gone for a long period of time, and I want the gener I don't want the generator to, you know, suffer a breakdown while I'm not here. That would be uh, kind of disastrous because I can't let this thing stay off because of all the food in the. Uh... Oh, for fuck's sake! In the fridge, one of the the the, the alarm, the watch alarm. I can hear it going off in the other room. There, I gotta go take that shit apart. Just ignore it for now. It's not loud enough that any zomb that zombies will hear it from far away, so I don't care, but it's just annoying. Alright, get rid of these scrap electronics before my back breaks, and uh, digital watches. Dismantle all of them, because I don't care which one it is. I'll find it somehow. There it is. That was the last one that I dis dismantled. Okay, put that camera in there as well. All right, and that is going to be it for this day. Um, actually, I think I'm going to cut this episode here, looking at it. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, and I know that it only encompassed basically one day. But our next episode is going to be pretty different, I think, because we've done basically all that we can around the base without it raining. Um, so I think our next episode is going to be the actuation of our, you know, our positing on the, uh, the ammo issue, and I think we're going to make a run for a gun store. Now, I'm not certain which gun store I'm gonna go for. There is a gun store up here in, um, what is this? Is this West Point, I think, or something? I'm not certain. I don't remember the names of these places here, because I don't go to them much, but there's a gun store in this, uh, in this town up here-ish, I think. Um, it's a very good gun store, but the zombie population is very high, so it's very dangerous. Um, so is that option, or a bit of a quieter option, if I go up this way, um, there's a town up here, I think it's like right here-ish, um, kind of a relatively small town with a, a higher than you would expect zombie population, but there is a hunting firearm store up there, if I remember right that is not too difficult to uh, to get into and to empty out. So between now and the next episode, I'll decide on which gun store I want to make a run at, and I think that's going to be our next objective. So thank you all for watching.
Um, I appreciate all the uh, all the views and likes and comments. It's uh, it's very heartening to say. Don't forget that the description holds the mod list if you wish to play along. It's very easy to just subscribe to all um, and just use the load order that the uh, the collection gives you. It should work just fine like that, I believe. Um, as well as links to my Patreon and my coffee if you like supporting the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.